Hello everyone and welcome to another add-on guide and today we will be looking at Auctionator which is a fantastic auctioning add-on so let's go and have a look at that open up the auction house and don't mind all of the other tabs I have a lot of auctioning add-ons for those of you that watch my gold making series you're just gonna be going of course he has a lot of add-ons he really really does they will testify to this I promise anyway so we've got three tabs basically for Auctionator you've got buy sell and more now basically in the buy tab. Let's start with them. Systematically, let's go through the buy tab first. You can full scan and that will scan the auction house for more data about all of the different items. And of course, you can search for items in this little search bar right there. I don't know why I'm pointing to the screen. I do this as if you're standing over my shoulder, like, like there, but you're not. So I don't know why I point at the screen. I'm still doing it anyway. So you can type whatever you want in there. For example, you could type Let's go with Ghost Iron Ore, and it'll even try and complete it for you, which is pretty fantastic. And there you go, you've got a whole bunch of Ghost Iron Ore, and that will be the cheapest thing there. You've got the per item price on the left hand side over there. The current auctions, you can see it's two stacks of 20 at that price, and you can see the stack price on the far right hand side over there. And if we search for something like Ember Silk, there are several different types of items, so it's going to ask you to choose by clicking on which one you want. You've got bolts of imbecile cloth. There aren't actually on any on the auction house, so you can't really choose that. You won't do any good. You've got imbecile cloth, and then you've got all of these different imbecile items. So let's go and click on this imbecile cloth, and there you go. It has brought through imbecile cloth all the different items of imbecile cloth for you. Again, item price per item on the left-hand side, the stack, and number of stacks at that price there and you've got the stack price over there which is pretty fantastic then you can also do something called create shopping list so for example you can say new shopping list and let's say ores oh, that you didn't ores being spelled as oreos <laughs> all right so then you can manage the shopping list and you can go down to ores and click edit and then you can type in let's say ghost iron or bell iron yeah, so terrible at typing stuff, and that should be enough for now. Let's just click that. Okay. And then you've got this little drop down menu over here, and you can choose, for example, ores, or I've got herbs here. So let's go with ores, and then say you want fell iron ore. You don't have to type it in any anymore, you can just go click. And there you go, it's now searched for all of the fell iron ore, which is pretty fantastic. And then, of course, you've got ghost iron ore, which I spelt wrong, actually. I, I can't believe how terribly I spelt that. Anyway. Uh, typo, I guess. So, there you have it. And now we will go over to the options again. You click the options tab, and you can set a whole bunch of different options, but we'll be looking at that more in the sell tab. And the main thing with the sell tab now is you can change the default auction duration. You've got 48 hours, 24 hours, 12 hours, or you can just not have a default duration at all. So, let's say that's 24. Right, and then you've got a whole bunch of other ones over here. You've got, for example, undercutting, because Auctionator will always try and undercut things. So over 500 gold, it will undercut to buy a whole one gold coin. Over 100 gold, it's going to undercut by 25 silver, 20, 10, 5, 2, 1, 5 copper. And then you've got the 5% for the starting price discount. And you can change all of that to one copper, whatever it is that you want, you know. And, of course, you've got a whole bunch of different things where it's got the database and clearing stuff and it's got the shopping lists. But you don't really need to worry about that. The main thing, we've already covered. All right, so let's go over the sell tab and open up our bags. Now, many of you already know that I like to use Trade Skill Master for the bulk posting of my auctions. But for items that I don't really want to put into Trade Skill Master, I will be using Auctionator for the posting because it is also quite fantastic. So I'm going to hold down our Alt key. And we're going to be clicking on, for example, the Stormbreaker chest guard. And it will scan the auction house. No items found. You type in the price there if it doesn't find anything. If it does find something, it will automatically undercut it. For example, if we go with green tea leaf, kapow. It is automatically undercut things. You've got one stack of five, 24 hours. You can change the duration. You can change the number of stacks, the stack size. So, for example, you could list five stacks of 20 if you have five stacks of 20 in your bags. If you don't... For example, it will, the button will grey out because you don't have that many. So you can't post that, buddy. You can't post that because you don't have that many. But if we go with Mithril Ore, for example, we could say maybe, what is it, six stacks of 20. You click that button, click, and it'll just post those. There we go. Got a little casting bar and kapow, it's now posted six stacks of 20. And you can change that round. For example, maybe we want four stacks of five. And there you go. 
four stacks of five of mithril ore for some reason. And then while in the cell tab, say you don't want something. Oh my goodness, why did I post this amazing item for one copper? What was I thinking? Click it, and then you can just say cancel auctions. And then you can just say cancel auctions. And there we go, it will cancel all of those auctions. And now, you can also click that buy button as well if you want to. Anyway, we're going to go over to the more tab now. And we're going to click the check for undercuts button, which is what the more tab is all about. And it will go through every single item that you have posted on the auction house saying... Has this been undercut? And it will scan all the items. The crosses mean it has been undercut. The ticks mean that it is not be, uh, has not been undercut. And now let's just wait for it to scan. It's got like a whole bunch of X's at the moment, so I've been fairly heavily undercut. There we go. Come on, you know you want to. And we've got a tick and a cross. That's a bit weird. I think that someone's matched my price or something. Anyway, so you can just sort of click this button here to cancel everything that was undercut and you can just click that again and again and again and again. Generally I like to use Trade Skill Master for things like that just simply because you can bind it to the scroll wheel but it is still nice again especially if you don't have these items in the Trade Skill Master groups because they can be a bit of a mission to set up but it's a fairly fantastic add-on and I tend to use it for uh, fewer items than I use for Trade Skill Master, uh, more specific items. Nearly done, we got 35, 30, doesn't take particularly long, and done, fantastic. Everything's been cancelled that we were undercut on, which is all fantastic, and then we can go and post it on the auction house, and go about making some more money. And that's basically it for Auctionator, it's not a particularly complicated add-on, as many auctioneering add-ons are. It's uh, pretty fantastic like that, actually. It's fairly simplistic, and it does its job well, which is what more could we ask of it, really. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful, and I shall see you in future videos. If you subscribe, you know, there, there are buttons everywhere for that, I hear. Actually, I think there's just one button, but let's just keep that between us. There's also, like, a link in the description. But, uh, yeah, that's very, very top-secret information. Shh. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.